I used to know nothing about app critiques, and I naively believed what the recruiter said. There's nothing to prepare for. And then of course, tragedy happened. I failed two Facebook app critique interviews. Afterwards, I thought about it more, I iterated myself more, and perfected my techniques more. Nowadays, I don't feel like app critique is as hard as intimidating anymore. In this video, I'm going to show you 12 common questions about app critiques that might flow around in your head all the time especially when you're new to it. My answers to those will include my personal equity experiences, what are some of the best ways to prep, tips, tricks, and finally point to some specific actionable items you can do today. Now grab your favorite drink and let's get into it y'all. Good morning everyone, my name is Justine, I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. First question first, why is our critique so intimidating? Okay, okay, our critique is not intimidating. You know what's intimidating? Climate change. If anything, an app critique is intimidating because you are new to it. And new things tend to be more scary and intimidating because of the uncertainties and the unknown. If you're doing it for the first time or the first few times, don't worry about it. There's a way out. All you need to do is to gain the product and design fluency that I mentioned in my previous video. You can do that by going over a few apps through the worksheet with all the questions that I have. And then you start to develop and gain the product and design fluency. You're familiar with the framework, you're familiar with it, it's not gonna be scary anymore. I will link that video up in the corner and description down below. Number two, is app critique easy? I would say yes, as long as you have that product and design fluency. You either gain that through work experience or you develop it on your own. Either way works, either way you have a high chance of acing the app critique round. Number three, can you actually prepare for an app critique? Recruiters will tell you there's nothing really to prepare for. And that's a total lie. Of course you can prepare for it, and you should. Let me share with you my story. I got two interviews, two app critiques with two different teams at Facebook in 2018 for the internship. I was a humble, diligent student and a great listener. So I listened to what the recruiter told me. Okay, nothing to prepare. Yay! And then I completely bombed both app critic interviews. So please don't be as naive and silly as I was. If you want to rehearse, memorize, and write a script about how an app critique can play out in real life, that requires some foresight and fortune telling that I cannot offer. You might want to visit one of those places. However, the worksheet that I had can help you prepare and gain the product and design fluency that a hiring manager is looking for. Once you're fluent in analyzing an app in those four different lenses, no matter what app they throw at you, you can always catch them at ease. Number four, why are there so many repeated why and what do you think in the worksheet? You might have noticed there are a ton of follow-up questions of why, what do you think about that, what would you do differently? It's not an accident, it's not a mistake, it's totally intentional, I put them there on purpose. Because that's exactly what you will get in an app critique. They're gonna ask you those three questions. Mm. Mm. So Justine, why do you think they include this here? What do you think about that? Anything that you would do differently here? I added those repeated questions there so that you can form the habit of speaking about those when you look at an app describing beyond just what you see. Number five, what's the difference between a bad answer and a great answer in an app critique? Let's use Facebook Marketplace as an example. A bad answer could be, this is a linear scroll with a two column view and it's pretty big images and you divide it up by sections. A great answer can be, this is a linear scroll with a two column view and it has pretty big images and it's divided by sections. I think, the section title can get lost while users are scrolling. They can miss it. Making the font size bigger and maybe add some more padding can help make the section title more distinct from one to another. So when you look at the response, there are three parts. Describe the fact, offer opinions with reasons, and suggest ideas and alternatives. If you did all three, great answer. If you only do one or try to scramble words and find words to just describe what you see, bad answer. An app critique, is a critique. A critique is giving opinions, reasons, and suggestions. Without those, it's not an app critique. <sighs> so much talk. Let's take a coffee break. Be right back. All right, all right. How was the ad? Does YouTube give you good ad? Oh, it's bad? Oh, too bad. I don't decide what to show you. But let's get back to the exciting subject, shall we? Question number six. What app have I done before? For Facebook, I have done Google Maps, Apple Music, 
Those are the two that I bought. And fun fact, I picked those apps. Another one I did was IT Play. I think I did okay, but I messed up something somewhere, which I will cover that in question number seven. For DoorDash, I did the DoorDash Consumer app. At Chime, I also did the DoorDash Consumer app. Question seven. What's the best way to prepare for an app critique? This is my favorite part. I can get to share very actionable specific items so you can get it going today. First thing you can do is pick five apps. Include at least one app that is similar to the role that you're applying to. If you are applying for a company that has a web product, then pick a web app. If you apply for an AR company, pick an AR app. For Apple, maybe pick an Apple iOS app. Social media, social media. You get the idea. Number two, run through the worksheet with those five apps and then get five guys to reward yourself after. If you do five, you are way ahead of the curve. I guarantee you, your peers are most likely going to stop at three apps. Number three, when you're using the worksheet, distribute your time and effort with respect to the order of those lenses. So spend more time on products and then interaction design. Lastly, motion design because product and interaction questions tend to show up more often. Number four, speak with confidence, especially in the real interview. I think this design is beautiful. I think this is chocolate ice cream. If there's any ambiguity, ask confidently. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. What do you mean by that? Can you clarify what you mean? Instead of... So I will swap out the icon and use the label. Uh, maybe use Figma to prototype. This is where it failed me hard. I should have just asked instead of using that silly guessing voice. So don't follow my horrible footsteps there. Number five, always have a killer app critique in your pocket. You can use it anytime if you get to pick. When that happens, it's almost a sure win. Number eight, what app should you pick as the killer app for your app critique? I will say there are two things. It should be an app that you have run through the worksheet so you're familiar with the app, the structure, the four different lenses. You know the app inside out, you know how they make money, how they design choices, how to contribute to the business, you know their craft, you know how swift and delightful that micro interaction is to keep users highly, highly engaged and stay on the platform longer and longer and longer. And two, one that you actually use and know a lot about that you both fall in love with and develop hatred for. Because when that happens, you can really offer your opinions with reasons and suggestions. Number nine, how many questions will you get in an app critique? In a real interview, you are not gonna get all those 30 plus questions in your app critique. You probably get five to 10 questions and you won't answer them in the linear order as what is laid out in the worksheet. It's more organic than that. You can jump from product to motion or from visual to interaction. Preparing it in this structural format will still help you because the details are all the same, no matter which way it flows. The interaction model that you see that you've described in the app will still be the same interaction model. Number 10, how do you know you are ready for an app critique, relatively speaking? I think doing five apps is a good rule of thumb. It can get you pretty far, and that could be a stop. At some point, when you look at a brand new app, your eyes will automatically put on those four lenses and go. So this is horizontal scroll, different categories, and you can vertical scroll to browse with each individual item. The motion is quite fluid. Yeah, just zooms in, very nice. And I think this can have a little bit more spacing. But overall, I think it's pretty good. But this should have the label here because this icon is somewhat misleading and it's not very intuitive. When that becomes automatic, that's when you know you're getting pretty good at it. That could be a stop there. That's a very great feeling to have. That means you're quite fluent and attuned to it. And that means you're quite ready at that point. Number 11. What should an app critique session feel like? To me, I feel like it's a chat to share intellectual opinions with friendly designer co-working. That's also why an app critique shouldn't be intimidating. It's just a chat. If you have a feeling that the app critique is like a user testing session, that's also right. Congratulations, you are ahead. Imagine you work at Facebook. You have your designer co-worker. At some point, they're gonna tap your shoulder and ask you, Hey Justine, do you have a minute? Check this out. So I thought about this concept and what do you think? Whatever you said at that moment is an app critique. You describe what you see, what you think, and what other proposal you might have. And that is exactly why I have those repeated follow-up questions in the worksheet. You are essentially a user testing participant for your designer coworker. You are testing their app. And since you are a designer, you can speak in a design lingo designer terms and that demonstrates your product and design fluency that's what your hiring manager is looking for number 12 
What are some fantastic tips and tricks for app critiques? You can download a few common apps, Spotify, Uber, DoorDash, Lyft, especially the five apps that you have picked and ran through. The version doesn't matter as much, maybe you don't even need to auto update it. And that was because I recommend using QuickTime for screen share so that you and the designer can see the same thing. You guys are on the same page completely. They don't have to download the app on their phone and you don't have to worry about the versions that they have. Next will be turn off the notifications in the settings because you don't want your Tinder message to come in when you're talking about design choices. Next is check the Wi-Fi in your room, make sure that it actually loads the app so it doesn't freeze there. While you are doing the app critique, you can use this powerful phrase, let me think about it. Design is about thinking. Thinking takes time, so it's okay to ask for time to think about it. Maybe like five, 10 seconds, but not like a whole 45 minutes of thinking. You can also say, what do you mean by that? Ask confidently when you see ambiguity. Those are 12 top Q&As for app critiques. How do you feel? Does an app critique feel easier now? Hope those tips and tricks and Q&A will help you stay prepared. I just realized I've not done something for quite a while, so let's do it now. Bonus content. Bonus content. If you want me to pick an app and run through the worksheet as an example, as a demo, leave a comment down below. If there are more than 10 comments or 10 people interested, I will make one for you guys. If you're ready to get started and try to analyze a few apps through the four different lenses, product, interaction, visual, motion, and try to go through all those questions, good news, you don't have to source all the questions yourself because I've already used my best design thinking and craft to put them in this video for you. Check it out right there. Like and subscribe to help support this channel and keep designing a better future. See you on the next video. Cheers.